to do some food shopping. I'll get my bargains, which are always not me on the two pounds. Let's go with my minute budget. Soaked, diced in petrol, and they said to me, "We don't have anyone with you to go to windows of the house that's next door, that's down here, which have been blown up." So I'm not very happy about that. It went down on my police, police report that I have pages. So we are nearly here at 112 Burnsbury Road. seen the car when I came back from the airport. Days in the churchyard in James's Piccadilly. Here we have my reduced to 89 pence grapes, um, ooh, potatoes, and there's a wonderful geese's rice. That show is a vegetarian, so I learned from her. Reduced 29 pence. And as far as I remember, I got my beautiful red pepper. 30 pence. And then, cut by screen, 29. And a second package. Or, you can make a lovely meal. Two for two pounds twenty, slightly over budget, but never mind. And then, I make all my fruit juices and I bought these lovely knives for one pound thirty. The mineral water is a little bit more, but we can't get can't get that. And um here's Ursa, unique Ursa. And here I'm going to because of my eye operation I can't read out to my mother's favourite recipe for poisons. But I'm certainly going to do that when I get an enlargement. A very famous book. Beaton's Book of Household Medicine. So that's my little shopping expedition. And now I'm going to go out and do a little gardening. So I'll say goodbye for a minute whilst I go and get the gloves, the spade, and the flower pot. Thank you everyone. Well, here we are. <clears throat> Sorry about my yellow gloves. There is my friends, ladies and gentlemen, around the world. I'm carrying some of the wonderful garlic that Eartha always used to have in the house, as do I. I think this came from Italy. But when she lived here, in my room now, I always knew where she was in, the garden.
My garden was once um, featured by a famous professional gardener called Alan Titmarsh. He described the patio, which I made at the time, largely out of dust bins. He described it as a painted garden, put it in one of the magazines. So I'm trying to renew it. my front garden and I'm going to show you also a photograph in a book called Small Gardens done by Angela Kirby some years ago which I'm very proud of because I used to design tiny gardens, pattern gardens. <laughs> this is my own homemade compost. People laugh at it but I'm very proud of it. Made over the course of years. Neighbours allowing me to transfer this rather pretty variegated ivy to make it for hedge. Coat of arms. Just need a pot of basil, some garlic, and some white wine, and I'm away. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here is my box of deeds of my great-grandmother, Sophia Augusta Brown, the fiery duster, and my beloved grandmother, Mildred, um, Lady Camoys, with all the deeds of the settlement from 1947, 1961, and have been refused access to any of the um, monies so I'm very distressed with the family lawyers of Providence and Red and Newport Red Island. And I continue to hope that this money will be released on my behalf. And now, hats off in the wind. Here we go. Land with garbage. 